हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन ऑल दाइट कीटो कार्बोक्सिक एसिड पार्ट थर्टी थ्री इज ब्रॉट यू बाई एग्जाम फियर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फियर फ्रॉम लेट्स टेक सम न्यूमेरिकल्स नाउ विच ऑफ द एसिड पेयर वुड बी मोर स्ट्रांगर सी एच थ्री सी ओ ओ एच और सी एच टू द एफ दैन सी ओ एच सो जई टोल्ड दैट If it is electron withdrawing group, right? This makes stronger acid, right? Electron withdrawing group. Why? Because I have R C O O minus in this fashion, the negative charge. This is the product. The more stable is the product, more stronger is the acid. So if I have someone which can withdraw electron, that will make acid more stronger. So if you see, fluorine is a electron withdrawing group. So with this, this is more stable. This is more stronger acid, right? Because CH two F C O minus will be more stable. That means CH two F C O O H will be a stronger acid. Again, compared to this, these two, if you see here, I have fluorine and I have chlorine. So compared to fluorine and chlorine, fluorine is more electron withdrawing group. This is a stronger acid. Correct? Because if you see CH two F C O O H, so this is more electron withdrawing. So this will make CH two C O O minus the product which you get after it breaks. Is more stable, so this is more stronger acid. Similarly, here we have to say which one is more stronger acid. So, if you see this part is common, and this part I have CH two F CH two CH two. Here I have CH three CH CH two F. Both have same molecular formula, but if you see here the fluorine is at the last carbon, here the fluorine is the second carbon. So, in this case, this will have more effect. This compound. Will be more electron withdrawing because fluorine is nearer to COH group, right? So fluorine will attract this more. The fluorine will attract the electron more, right? So this will be more stronger acid. Let's see in this case. So here we see same, but here instead of CS3 we have CF3. So CF3 will attract electron all the more. So it is more stronger. This is a stronger acid. Correct. So we have to arrange this in the acidic strength. So let's see what is the difference here. So all has COH, 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 and COH. But apart from that, each of these has three carbons. But one has one bromine in the first carbon, one bromine in the second carbon. And this has they don't have any bromine. So typically, since they have bromine, they are more uh, electron withdrawing. So the top will be one of these, correct? So out of these, if you see, the bromine is attached to the carbon next to COH. So this will have more electron withdrawing effect. This will have less withdrawing effect. So this will be my first, and this will be second. So first and second is final, correct? Now we'll have to decide between these two. Between these two, if you see, I know that the plus I effect of isopropyl group is more than n-propyl. For example, I have this. This will have more plus I effect than this. So both has three carbons here. Both has three carbon, but this has more plus I effects. Then this has more plus I effect. That means this is not that acidic. So this is the least. This is the least. This is my fourth, and this is my third. This is my strength. This is my one, two, and three. And this is the four. This is the order. Hope you understand why. One and two is clear because this bromine is attached next to the carbon, the COH carbon. Here bromine is attached to one carbon after this. So this is one and two and. And when you compare these two, this isopropyl group is more electron releasing group actually. So this releases more electron. This makes it all the more less acidic. As I told, electron releasing group will make it 
less acidic. Electron we are trying to will make it more acidic. We have to arrange this uh, again uh, in the order of their acidic strength. Benzoic acid. Let me draw first benzoic acid. And then I have four nitro benzoic acid. Now this benzoic acid at fourth position one two three four. Our nitro group is electron withdrawing group. Good only. Then I have three four dinitro benzoic acid. All the more better. I have two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and three, and four. I have two benzoic acid, and then I have four methoxy benzoic acid. I have benzoic acid. One, two, three, four. I have methoxy. So if you compare this, see the OCS3 is electron releasing group. These are electron withdrawing group, right? It has two electron withdrawing group. It has nothing. So with this, this has two electron withdrawing group. So this will be more stable. This is number one. This has one electron withdrawing group. To number two. It has nothing. It is number three. This is actually electron releasing group. So it is all the more bad. So this is number four. Correct. The first will be three, four dinitro benzoic acid. The second will be four nitro benzoic acid. The third will be benzoic acid, and the least will be four methoxy benzoic acid. Why? Because methoxy group is a electron donating group so the question is how will you prepare methyl benzoate from benzene so i have to I have benzene from benzene i have to prepare methyl benzoate so i can use uh, organic reagent with not more than one carbon atom so i have a benzene from this i have to prepare methyl so you have to prepare methyl benzoate. This, yeah, this is what I have to prepare. Correct. So what I can do is I can first I can create MGBR, the Grignard reagent, and then I can react that with carbon dioxide, and then I can uh, get benzoic acid. And I can do esterification. Let's see. So this I add bromine. I get this. In presence of obviously FeBr3, you have to use. And then I use Mg in presence of ether. I'll get Grignard reagent. Correct? MgBr. Correct. Or I can use uh, directly CH3Cl and I can get C CS3 and I can do acidification. I'll show you so many ways. I can react with carbon dioxide. So, what I'll get is COO. Here I'll get OMGPR. Then I'll do hydrolysis. I'll get COOH. Correct. So, once I've got COOH, I can do esterification using with alcohol. Right, I can react with CH3OH. So what I'll get is this guy. CO CH3. Easy. Or instead of directly, you know, you can use this method or directly I can react this guy with uh, CH3Cl with this uh, Fiddlecraft reaction. I'll get CH3 and I can do KMnO4 oxidation and directly get COH. Once I have got benzoic acid, I can do a esterification. Correct. The next is to prepare M nitro benzoic acid from benzene. So I have a benzene. From this, I have to form M nitro benzoic acid. So I have uh, benzoic acid here and meta position is 1, 2. Nitro. So meta position I have put nitro. See, nitro is ortho directing, we know, and COH is meta directing. So, first we have to pre prepare COH and then we can add nitro. So, preparing COH, we can use the same method which we have used just now, or I can use this guy now, easy one CH3Cl using AlCl3. So, I'll get this CH3 and I can do I see, uh, 
oxidation I'll get COH and then with this I can do nitration HNO3 in presence of sulfuric acid I'll get at meta position why because COH group is meta dietic group correct so here instead of meta uh, nitrobenzoic acid I need para nitrobenzoic acid so if you see here I need para this is benzoic acid or meta para para nitrobenzoic acid so in this case what we can do is I can first add NO2 and then COH or what I can do is a good way is see with this I add CH3Cl I get CH3 right in presence of AlCl3 my fiddle graft isolation reaction now in this what I can do is now only I can add NO2 because NO2 CH3 is a paradiatic group so I can use HNO3 with presence of H plus what will happen is I'll get at ortho meta para. I'll also get at ortho position, but you can just uh, do a distillation. Yeah, you can separate this using a filtration. And now, once you have got this, this one, I can use this to KMnO4 and heat to oxidize this. So with this, you get. COOH and here you get NO2. This is NO2. So here we have to form from benzene to phenyl acetic acids. Phenyl acetic acid something like this. So let's see how can we do with this. So if we take a benzene, first thing is let's add CH3Cl in the presence of AlCl3. Same Friedel Craft acylation reaction we have seen so many times. This is what we get. Now here we have to add something, right? So that we can get a COH. Why don't we add CN? But directly we can't add CN, so let me add bromine here right? in presence of sunlight what will happen is it will become CH2Br so once I have CH2Br I can react with maybe KCN or HCN so this CN minus will replace this Br so this will become CH2Cn so once I have CH2Cn I can do uh, oxidation right or just with H plus only I can I'll get CH2 COOH this is what I'll get correct the ammonia will come out and I'll get this you can do H, H2O actually with H2O with water this is not even required actually yeah so I'll get this compound this is my Phenyl, phenyl acetic acid. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.